In version 23, we've added some nice improvements to our dynamic array. Users needed to be able to take advantage of our dynamic clearances, so I've added an edge distance here, 3 inches along the top. So when I create an array of this part, you'll notice that the perimeter of my array seems to bump against that 3 inch distance on the top of my sheet. In addition to the edge distance, we've added X and Y clearances. So on the left side here, as you function values, the grid will update as you tab out of those boxes. In that left side panel, you may have noticed something else that was new, and I'm going to create a new small grid just so that I can show you a few of the details. So I'll make a grid here with three different parts. This may be a kit that somebody wants to create in order to bring these parts off together and move them on to the next operation. So when I create this array, you'll notice along the left side that the number that are in the grid is increasing, but also the total number is increasing. And that shows you the total number of parts that are nested over the total number required on the entire task. 